I need to address the current state of the world. The world in which systemic racism is very real. The world which in white privilege is rampant. And I'm just so, so tired of fragility. Sometimes soft and gentle, baby steps, not pointing fingers seems like the right approach. But who are you really protecting? In the case of injustice, it is absolutely not. And if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. I identify with my brown culture, but I benefit from white privilege. It is my responsibility, my duty, my honor, to stand in solidarity and fight with my brothers and sisters against systemic oppression. I pose this question. If you want to be treated like a black person, please stand up. No? then you know there is a problem. Stop being ignorant. Stop acting like there's nothing to be done. I will say it again, if you are not part of the solution, you are part of the problem. I paused everything for over a week. I didn't post on YouTube. I didn't post on my Instagram, my podcast. People with white privilege needed to shut up and listen. And I am one of them. But I didn't just not exist. I existed. I was and and still reposting on my stories, information on protests, sharing black folk stories and voices, wisdom and art, but we cannot go back to normal. I want to quote an incredible black writer. Her name is Rachel E. Carvel. Please go follow her on Instagram. She is incredible. She is so amazing. You will learn so much. And the community there is just amazing. Anyway, she says, I'm gonna read it. She says, Friendly reminder, anti-racism work is not a self-improvement space for white people. If protecting bodies and empowering black lives aren't at the center of your work, then you're not here for black people. You're simply going through motions to make your white self feel better. Again, please go follow her, she's amazing. I don't want any of us to go back to normal. We cannot go back to normal. I do fear of waking up tomorrow to see that white people are tired of this movement. Black Lives Matter is not just some social media slogan. It is not a badge of honor. This isn't some sort of social club. Posting a few times on social media is not your excuse to go back to normal tomorrow. Be changed. Be forever changed. Revolution is a mindset. It's a lifestyle. It is not just a social media post. Be aware. Don't settle. The revolution is only just beginning. Don't be the reason this dissipates. Black lives matter if all social media went away tomorrow. Remember that. Live that. A note to my non-black friends. Black people are not responsible to teach you, to soothe you, break things down for you, or clarify any of this for you. There are resources out there by black people. Resources like books, articles, podcasts, social media accounts, organizations, seek them out and learn. But don't go crying to your black friends about how bad and how sad you feel about your white privilege and their oppression. Your emotions are not theirs or anyone else's responsibility. Reach out to them, tell them you love them, but they don't owe you anything. Now is the time for activism, for action. Just learn from the countless amount of resources that are already out there. There really is so much information. Do better. Be better. If you are watching this on YouTube, I will have links to resources down below, so check that out. Links to people much smarter and much more qualified to talk about this than me. Resources to sign petitions, to donate to, and people to follow. I also do have a Black Lives Matter story highlight on my Instagram, so you can check that out as well. To all my black friends and followers, I love you. I'm here for you. If there's anything you need or any way I can further support you, please let me know. And I can't imagine all the varied emotions that you are going through. I forever stand with you. Black Lives Matter. Thanks for listening.